Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we are going to be decoding an SSTV image transmitted from the International Space Station in real time. This isn't different from something that I've done before. In fact, I've made a video uh, and I'll show you in the description of how to do this step by step. This video is more purely just as a demo to show people that may not understand all of the intricate bits of radio who just want to see something cool and maybe have a reason to get into it. So what's going to happen today is we're going to go outside and hopefully it's not going to storm. It looks awfully windy. And in about 30 minutes, the space station is going to be overhead and it's going to be transmitting images. So at that point, uh, I'm going to be recording what I'm doing and I'm going to have my phone running a program that decodes the SSTV images in real time. And I will also be recording audio from the radio that I will be playing out of. I'll be using my FT3D to listen in on the frequency and to play sound over to my phone so that we can get it decoded. This is a pretty cool thing. If you have never done it before, I suggest you give it a try this week. They will be transmitting from today all the way up till June 26, I think at 1800 UTC. The time could be wrong, but if you have an ISS pass in this week, which you probably do, you should probably give this a try because you can do it with something as simple as a Baofeng radio, the UV5R that you can get for 25 to 30 bucks on eBay. You can also use an RTL SDR, almost any radio that can listen in on 145-800. So next time you see me here, we're going to be setting up, getting ready for the pass, and we're going to start listening for that frequency. Real quick, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button below. If you like the video, please make sure you like the video. And if you have any suggestions or things that I can do better, make sure to let me know down in the comments. See you guys outside. All right, guys. Sorry if it's a little windy out here, but the event's pretty much uh, going to start here in just a moment. So here I have uh, Heavens Above, which I use to track where the ISS is, when it's going to start. And it looks like it's going to rise about right here and then it's gonna follow the horizon this way it's a little difficult so we got a nice pass going on uh, hopefully we're gonna hear some uh, good audio here's my radio it's ready to start receiving and the ISS will, is just now popping over the horizon if you can see it in the video it's this little thing here so it is there I will be using Robot36, the phone app, to decode the image in real time. So, should be coming over any moment now. And I'm starting to hear the in, one of the images. So, let's see. Here we go. Oh, it's pouring now. Come on. All right. We got the image back to the car because it is pouring. That happened just in time, folks. That happened just in time. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, we got a pretty decent image considering, and uh, I was really satisfied. I filmed everything today with the GoPro, so that's kind of new. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you want to know how to do this, make sure you go back, check the description. I have the video of the setup. You don't need that much um, equipment. It's not very expensive. You can literally do this with a cell phone and a $25 radio. So make sure to check that out if you haven't already. And get out there and get some images this week because uh, this is a week long. So there's a lot of opportunity for the ISS to be above. 
Anyways, I appreciate everybody watching. Thanks for being here. 73. Thank you.